Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to another episode of Jimsville and some more PS4 City Skylines action. And look at this. No issues in this area whatsoever. We have solved our unemployment issue. Well, not unemployment, but we've solved our lack of employment issue in the sense that we didn't have enough workers to fill the jobs. It's all nice and sorted over here and the traffic's pretty nice as well now I have made a few changes since you were last with us uh, mainly over here I've kind of just changed this road network just a little bit watching where the traffic was going and I've had a little bit of freeway here just to try and speed up traffic moving off this section obviously there are traffic lights though that kind of slows things down a little bit having to queue at the junctions but it's better than it was uh, so we have a one-way exit out there, and then we still have the one-way entrance just there. But we also have a nice route here for traffic to move into the city bit over here. Uh, so what I did was that connection was causing a huge, huge traffic jam along this road here. So I took it out, as you can see, uh, and created the, the intersection up here instead. Put in a little bit of double road, and then connected it as that secondary slip road just there underneath the, uh, the freight terminal. Uh, so that's now kind of on a separate isolation loop. So anything that doesn't need to use it can go around this way. And anything that does need to use it can just go ahead. And then this brings traffic into this area here, which can then come out this way over the bridge and feed into this area. But it's also got this route down here as well. So there's two different ways that this can feed traffic into the main area over here. And, well, look at the size of some of these buildings now. They've all been upgrading. They've all been pinging away for ages. And now they've kind of settled down. They've all reached pretty high levels. I mean, look at this one here. Almost completely fully upgraded. 19 people in that building just there. This one here, again very nice numbers 18 people in this one and it's a good chunk of its way through its next upgrade these probably won't upgrade that much more now without a high school here to really boost people's education and that's something i don't want to do um you can see we've got a couple of little worker requirements just popped up here but i think these are brand new buildings uh you can see this one it's, that's not the one it's that one there isn't it um but there we go. Yeah, we've got four people in there. It's enough to operate normal, kind of. This one's just a little bit short still. Uh, but if that disappears, something else might come in that's more work, more friendly for our workers. Uh, and then the other changes around here. I've tried to really improve this area a little bit as well. So I was worried about the, the traffic going against itself, going in and out of this. And it was proving a problem. So what I've done is kind of, again, create a little passing loop. So... The traffic that comes down this way feeds into this little roundabout just here. It's a really small single lane roundabout. It doesn't need to be any bigger than single lane uh, because of the, you know, all the traffic just sticks to one lane anyway. I mean, I suppose, actually, we have got some traffic that does kind of loop back around. It's residential stuff, mainly taxis, people coming up to park. But having said that... Um, this slip road is actually slightly quicker than traditional road, so if I were to swap it out for a two-lane road, this bit of movement here would probably be a little bit slower. I'll, um, I'll have a think about that. Maybe I just need that one little bit. Let's see what happens if I upgrade that one piece. Does that help at all? Um, well, it hasn't really hindered but hasn't made any major improvements. I suppose it gives the opportunity for some traffic to filter around a little bit better, but the traffic comes in this way. And then we've got this three-lane bit of highway that then splits into three different paths. So you've got a little loop around junction just there for the uh, rail terminal itself, and then that loops back out onto this way again. And then from there, you can loop into the estate here or you can just go straight to the freeway just there. Uh, or you can, from there, you can loop up there and then go down this way and come out here to feed out that way. Um, so it's kind of eased traffic issues uh, a lot. I mean, this is still really, really busy. 
um, but it's con it's manageable busy now. And same with this. This is manageable busy now as well. This rail terminal was taking in a lot less traffic than was actually using the road for it. So by having it on this little slip, loop, slip route here, it's making things a lot easier with the rest of the traffic flow. Uh, and as you can see, it just feeds back out this way. And they can loop around if they need to and come back in this way. I extended that all the way up there. So we've lost a little bit of zoning in here, but nothing too bad. Uh, and as you can see, the farm functioning absolutely perfectly. No issues with workers or anything else. It's all ticking over very nicely indeed. This area has upgraded itself a lot as well. You can see some of these houses are really quite big now. So this little extension that we put in has helped. And uh, what I had to do as well was just make a slight tweak to this bit here. So rather than having them join just on this corner like before, I've now kind of moved it to a crossover junction just here. Just because so many trains that were coming in, they were kind of tripping over each other. They still do a little bit, but not as bad as before. So you can see there's quite a big gap between those trains there, but once they move into the station, or the next one pulls out the station, it frees up space for the next one to move in, and so on and so forth. So while we do still get some delays here, it's not as bad as it was. It's a lot more contained. Uh, and that's pretty much it, I think. That's all kind of the changes I've done since you were last with us. Uh, so we do have little bits of busy pockets of traffic, but generally it's flowing pretty smoothly and pretty nicely. It's just not the prettiest, but with limited traffic controls that we have here, you know, until we get the mass transit update at some point next year, this is kind of the best I can do for now. So we need to really kick on now and boost our population. Uh, I have got this zone over here, still haven't done anything with this, but I want to go on a big population boost. So I'm going to start building in just here. This area here between uh, Jimsville and Chellington. This needs some major work, I think. So I'm going to start drawing in some roads and just building in a nice bit of grid work over here. So let's... Let's look at... First of all, let's upgrade what we've got here. So let's put in a six-lane road coming off here. Because this is going to be kind of one of the main connections between our two districts. So let's give this a nice, big, healthy boost. Uh, I'm also going to... Ah, I've got a park there, haven't I? That makes that a difficult place to upgrade. Uh, same on the other side, I can't do it there either. But what I can do is upgrade this. I'm going to move that taxi rank. I'm going to move it to there. Why not there? Uh, let's take that piece of road out. Let's take that piece of road out. And... Basically, what I'm going to do... Is bring this down here and connect like that. There we go. So we've got that connection there. looking at the traffic, it's quite a lot of it. <laughs> but we do now have two, well look at, and this is just a huge roundabout, you can see how big it is, and we had to actually put some six lane in, again, because the traffic controls are a little bit, a little bit thick at times. And that was just a way to separate out traffic going around the roundabout and traffic that was turning off into Jimsville. Uh, we do still get some big queues down here sometimes, but it's not it's not a lot I can do about it, unfortunately, because with the traffic lights coming in, it does slow traffic down a bit. Um, but yeah, we've got all this area now here that we can zone. So I think whatever comes into this bit around the airport needs to be office, just simply because of the noise. It's going to throw out a huge amount of noise. So 
we need to take that into consideration. Uh, what I also want to do is actually come off a bit of an angle this time. So we have a little bit of a gap. If I bring a road out like this. This is going to be slightly weird zoning over here. It's not going to be the usual kind of squared up grid stuff that you've seen elsewhere. This is going to be a little bit sort of oddly shaped and spaced. Uh, let's also take out these power lines. This is why I've paused the game so that I don't suffer a mass power cut. I can take the lines out, build what I need to, check the zoning and then correct everything afterwards. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, carry on with our zoning. Uh, and I kind of want to leave some gaps for a, an, an expansion to the metro system. So I'm going to leave... some odd spacing. Like this. So I've got roads where I can fit a terminal in the middle once I do a clever little bit of road placement. Um, I'll, it'll give me some options, some choices of where I can actually put that terminal in. down here like that like I said this is not going to be your kind of usual kind of zoning it's going to be a little bit creative and weird in places just simply because I want something a little bit different over here I'm also wary that some of these roads are probably going to need to be upgraded. So this is another reason why I'm doing it all ahead of time like this. Uh, this is going to be a major road, so let's do that. Uh, this is going to be a major road connecting in, but I can't do that because of that. So not that big of an issue. It's connecting to two major roads either side, so I can kind of get away with that. Let's upgrade it here, though. Uh, let's go back to standard road. What can I do over here? Let's bring that down as a connection there. Let's bring it down as a connection just there as well. I'm not going to put anything in just there, I think. Take that piece of road out. Yeah, that works. And then if I just do this. There we go. So, as I said, a very strange little framework of, of uh, roads around here. Not wanting to kind of overdo it with junctions if I can get away with it. And these gaps mean I can put in things like parks and stuff, hopefully. Um, and then I've got this little bit of space over here to do something with, haven't I? So let's bring this along a little bit more. And connect it up like that. said you know, as you can see some very strange kind of choices when it comes to our junctions and our buildings but there we go we've got a nice little placement of odd shaped roads and it's also a little bit more authentic I think uh, as a real life kind of city when you have roads that aren't perfectly symmetrical and squared off it's a little bit more chaotic just as you know uh, cities are in the real world uh, I can bring that down to there as well like that uh, let's 
make sure we've got water. Um, most of this already has water, that's good. So let's just bring this down like so. Uh, I'll need something going across there like that to cover a bit of zoning and just a strip of road. That doesn't need water. Let's bring this across. We may as well connect that up like that. Let's do the same over here. Oh, way off, aren't we? There we go. And just going to need a little bit of an extension just there. Let's move across just a touch. Yeah, that works. Uh, and then I need, obviously, a stretch over here as well. Again, the only thing that's not really connected is the road. <laughs> that's fine. Uh, and then I just need something on this little bit just here. So uh, what would be better? I suppose a little bit coming off just here would be better. Like that. There we go. So there we go. We have our water network. Uh, we may need to add in another pumping station and another sewage station soon, but we're okay right now. So let's look at dropping in a few bits and pieces of decoration. So these big parks are great, but they're awkward to place. Now, we've actually got some space over here now, which is good. These odd-shaped roads mean it can't go in there, but it can go in, he in here, and it can hopefully go in there as well. No, it doesn't seem to want to want to go there, but it will go here. So, I did a moment ago. There we go. That'll do. Got a big a big park in just there. Uh, let's look at Metro. So we could have a metro stop here by the prison. <laughs> Do I really want to have a tunnel underneath the prison? <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think the prisoners are going to escape in this. It's not that kind of game. So we'll put a metro stop there by the prison. That also means we've got workers that can come this way for these businesses as well if we need to. Um, let's put another stop Again, I need to be wary of where these are placed because of the noise pollution. I mean, if I could get that to just sit in that gap. Oh, that's not going to work, is it? Um... Alright, let's... Let's use those gaps there for footpaths and stuff and bridges. Uh, let's try and get uh, a bit of clever placement. I've done this before. You've seen me do this before. Where I con the metro system by putting a road where it doesn't expect it to be. So if I do that... Now, there we go, get my line placed like that. I can take that back out and we're still connected to a road. Um, let's check the tunnel. Just looking to see where this network's going to connect up. And where we're going to feed it in as well. about if we have another metro point just here I'm wondering now I'm having a thought if I connect that network up like that and then reroute that route around to there This line can connect up 
like that. Come across this way. And then... That goes that way. We could do with an extra metro stop somewhere over here. Before I then connect up to the uh, to the prison. What about if I were to bring a line down here like this? that out. Take that out. And there we go. And that one there will then pick up this bit of the loop. And then I can take this bit out and then move those stops over to, to cover these pieces. And then this one can cover uh, these stops here before linking in there. So that bit of tunnel isn't going to be needed. Uh, and that tunnel there will just need to be relocated to here instead. So if I take that piece of tunnel out and that piece of tunnel out uh, and go to move Alright, so I'm going to need to remove that connection like that. Now I can move this to there. Oops, nope. Tunnel. There we go. Connect that like that. Connect that like that. Uh, let's take the line tool. Uh, let's move... Oh, no, it's the wrong stop. Let's move that back there, so... Let's see. It's kind of broken a little bit because of where the stops are going. So uh, I need to try and watch it follow around. Yeah, it's, if I take out the whole line and then just add it back in again, that's going to be easier. So... Uh, boo, 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 boo. Also, what I'd like to do to ease congestion on this corner is actually have this line start here. So I'm going to need to take uh, I need to take the whole line out. So let's create a new residential line first of all. So let's get a good shade of green for that. Come on, greens. Uh, yeah, that'll do. So this is going to come down here. It's going to tag that one first. And then it's going to tag that one. And then that one that one and then we're going to loop back to there in fact actually what we can do no, nah, no we'll leave it like that that's fine uh, so let's finish this line off Uh, so let's add another stop there. Bring it back up here to there. And then now it should do that. Excellent. So now when I bring in another line, it's going to go out this way 
it should start here. This is going to be my blue line. Yep, that'll do. So this should come down this way like that. And it's starting on that platform. So we've got a clear platform now, look, you see. Both of the residential lines are feeding onto the out onto the left side of the platform, and the right side platform is just for our commercial train. So we won't have trains tripping over each other. Uh, so this is going to come round this way, hit the new stop that we've just put in, uh, and then it's going to go to there, and it's going to go to there, and it's going to terminate there, and then it's going to shuttle back there and there uh, is that it? just those stops there and then loop back in there so with that junction there look it, they're never going to get in each other's way those two trains ever because they're never on the same piece of track at the same time uh, and these ones, you know, they might, they might, you know, queue against each other going in and out, but that's fine. Um, and then we've got this line here. Uh, and this is going to be another blue line. That's kind of a, the right colour. That's going to come out this way. Hit that stop. And then that stop, that stop, and that one, and that one. And then it's going to come down to here. And then I'm going to put another residential line in just here, and then it's going to end up there. Before it then goes back on itself. So I'll come back and complete that line in just a moment. Let's take out that bit of track, because we don't need that anymore. Uh, let's take out that bit of track because we don't need that anymore. And then passengers can switch from one line to the other just there by getting up and walking across to the other platform. Uh, that works really nicely. Um, plus we have good bus network going in there as well, bus service going in there to both sides of the road. So both metro stops will be serviced by a bus, which is handy. Um, so I need one more station stop before there to kind of cover our residential zone over here. So ideally I want it to be about here. So again, I'm going to have to do a bit of a con with some road. That's just a little high. Let's push it into that gap a bit more. Let's go there like that. And then I can use that space. Oh, that might be problematic, actually. It might complain about that. Mm, yeah, because as soon as I take that road out, it's going to say not connected. Uh, mm, that was a bit of a problem. But what I can do is I can actually put it on this corner here. Why won't it feed off that piece of track? All right, let's try it on that way. It's a little bit higher than I'd hoped, but yeah, I can get away with that. Now I can take that road out, and it's facing the right direction, whereas it wasn't before. Let's connect that up. Uh, let's go freeform. Let's bring that round and connect like that just because it looks a little bit better. Now I can go into the line tool and press X there to get that line active again. And let's draw in the next stop. Why is it not? Alright, let's try this. Let's try dragging that to there. go so let's drag that all the way to there and then let's 
put these other sides in and then I can go in and add those stops where I need to on the opposite lane. Let's bring this back around this way. In you go. And then that'll terminate just there. Beautiful. And uh, that stops just there. That's fine. Uh, and I needed to add a stop just there, didn't I? There we go. And one there as well. So now we have a metro system there that covers half of our sort of business area there. Uh, we've got another line that covers this half here. It's not an insanely long ride all the way around the park like it was before. We've got a changeover just here so you can switch to different lines. And then if you're on this line here, you can get through to here and then... Uh, even f in theoretically, you can just get out from a stop there and walk to there. In fact, we could just do that. Might not need to bring that round to there. No, we don't. I've kind of over overcomplicated the line a little bit, but that's fine. Um, let's make that the final stop. So, if I go into the line tool, if I delete that stop and delete that stop now I can drag this stop back to there ok go to the tunnel uh, I can delete this bit of tunnel because we can just get our pedestrians to actually move and our commuters to move we've got a footbridge look uh, I think I've actually deleted part of the footbridge. <laughs> Whoops. That'll be deleted when I put the uh, the subway in. So let's rebuild that bit of footbridge. And then we can add an extra bit of footbridge as well. So there we go. That's that footpath com uh, continued there. We've got that stop there, look. And then we can just walk here. And then from there... They can connect up there. Beautiful. That works beautifully. So they've got a really short walk to then change to the to the next line that can then take them where else they need to go. Okay, so uh, we have water in there. We have a metro in there. I need to be careful what I build around the metro. So if I zone the residential stuff first, that's going to be residential... So it's that and that. Uh, let's make those offices, I think. Um, let's look and see where the metro stops are. There we go. So uh, wary of that noise, I'm not going to put residential directly, excuse me, directly under the metro line, but I can put it in this section here, like this. along there. Uh, then I can have offices and commercial around here where the line is likely to be noisy. Uh, let's put some commercial in now around here. Get a few different blocks of commercial like that. Uh, and then the line's going to terminate there. So this can be residential. And obviously this bit here as well. Like that. I'm not going to put something on that little corner just there. Uh, and then obviously this can be residential. I think I like the idea of residential around the park. And I'm going to add some industrial as well. But I'm going to zone it as forestry because it should then generate some warehouses. So if I put a little bit of industry just there... I'm curious just to see what this looks like. 
Um, and I'm going to try a bit more just here as well. It should just be warehouses. Um, so I need to go into zoning. I need to create a zone. See, all this is Jimsville, but it hasn't been zoned. Let's zone in Jimsville. Magnolia Park. I don't think so. <laughs> so let's zone all of this as Jimsville. And I'm going to include this part here as Jimsville as well. There we go. Let's go to large now that I've got my border and let's fill this in a little bit quicker. Uh, make the airport part of Jimsville as well. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, okay, so I need to kind of very quickly uh, put in a new district. Won't let me draw a new one. I'll have to delete a section out and then draw a new one in just there. Like that. Uh, and where was the other one? Damn it. I think it was around the station. Uh, or was it around here? I think it was around there. Made that a touristy area. So let's... I'm gonna, means I'm going to end up losing that really funky building. Look at that. Right, let's go into uh, districts and let's change the size of the tool to medium. Just so I can recover part of this. Save some of those buildings that I really like. Just basically I want to have a little bit of tourism in this bit so I can get hotels and I want to keep my souvenir stand because that's really cool. So Hickory Heights is going to be the little area that pops in here. Just to fill this gap. And I'm, I'm just going to um, take the name out and just leave the zoning specialty. Uh, so I've got that one there, that one there. I think they were the only ones. Okay, so uh, let's go to uh, inspect. Let's rename this. That's Jimsville, put it in capitals because that's kind of like the center. Uh, this we're going to oops, rename with a space. Uh, this we're going to rename with a space. Like that. There we go. So we've got Jimsville with these little commercial, oh, sorry, uh, these little tourist areas just here. Uh, so now I need to go into policies. No, it's not policies, it's district specialization. So I want to have tourism just there. And then I also want to have tourism just there. Uh, and then the industry specialization I want over here is going to be forestry because there is no forest where I've got industry built. At least there shouldn't be. If I go to info views, go to resources, 
these areas here. Well, there's potential, I suppose, for it to possibly try and spawn some buildings. I'm going to try and take out some of these trees. Now, someone I actually saw, I, I saw a, a hint in a group. Um, whereas, if you start demolishing trees, you just hold down the X button once you've selected a tree. And you can go over the other trees while still holding down X and it will destroy them, but it won't damage your roads. You can just, or your buildings. As long as you don't take your finger off X, you can then go in and actually delete stuff afterwards. Now, those ones look like they're part of those buildings. Yeah, they are. Um, but you can see, look, I'm just holding down X still. And any time I go over a tree, it just instantly deletes the tree. It's kind of cool. I wonder if it works with roads, if I do the same thing with a road. I don't really, having just laid all this down, want to check and find out. But I might do a test road somewhere else at some point and, and try that out. Um, there's a tree there. Let's get rid of that. But yeah, it works really well. It's a nice little tip, that. So uh, I forget who it was who pointed that out, out in the group. But uh, if you see this video, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit more industry there as well. Because, again, I'm curious to see if this actually works or not. Um, take out the power line as well so I can zone that in properly uh, let's take out this power line so I can zone this in properly there we go uh, and now let's put those power lines back in in positions where they're going to help spread that power I mean, most of this is already kind of connected anyway, so I don't need to kind of go overboard with it. Um, yeah, all right, let's unleash and see what happens. That needs water. Does it? No, just power. It flashed at water for a second. Uh, but very quickly, this stuff should start connecting up to what we already have. The commercial is going to fill up really quickly because we have that demand for commercial. I never put my uh, forestry specialization in for Jimsville, did I? Yes, I did. This is another tip I saw in, in a group as well. In the same group. Uh, and uh, I do post and uh, chat in there quite regularly and quite a few of the members in there do spot my videos. So, uh, again, I forget who it was who made the post, but uh, I'm really... Uh, hoping that this is going to work out. We're going to get some nice warehouses as opposed to industries that are pumping out filth. We'll see. We'll see how it works. I might have to demolish a couple of buildings and let them respawn, but that's worked. Look at that. That's exactly what I wanted to see, some warehouses popping up like that that aren't going to pollute the area but still provide industrial jobs. So... Hopefully that'll continue. Oh, we need services, don't we? We need police and fire... And all that jazz. Uh, I'm going to stick police and fire in this section just here, I think. Uh, and I also want a hospital. And the hospital, I think I'll stick. No, I can't stick it just there. Can I stick it there? I can. It's going to demolish some of those buildings that have just spawned in. So maybe over here instead. Yeah, there we go. That works. Uh, what else do we need? Crematorium. Going to need a crematorium. Got one there. Don't really want another graveyard. Let's stick a crematorium in near the park, I think. 
Well, actually, no, I'm going to keep it near the hospital just <laughs> because I find it morbidly funny sticking crematoriums <laughs> and funeral homes next to uh, next to hospitals. Yeah, there we go. So if you snuff it, you haven't got far to go. And listen to all those pings. Buildings upgrading. Look at them all. And even these buildings here on the edge of Jimsville, these are all upgrading as well now because they've got a new metro connection. Look at them all. Getting some really, really nice looking buildings. That's fantastic. And our warehouses are coming in really nicely as well. Look, this is the look that I was going for. Non-polluting uh, industries. What's it like over here? Yeah, let's take that one out. And that one out. Let those respawn. There's something different. Uh, let's get some education in this area as well. What are we looking like for schools? I've got a few. We can always have more. Uh, let's stick a school in... Well, not on a side road, really. Let's stick that one there. Let's stick a high school opposite. And how many universities do I have? What's my university capacity? Oh, my university capacity is fine. So uh, I don't really need another one. It's it's not too far. It's only a, it's a pretty straight route, as you can see. So that'll help educate these workers around here. Let's go back to my zoning. Uh, they want more commercial kind of figures. Uh, where can I add in a bit more commercial? I can put some more commercial in just... Oops, industri industry. Six some more commercial just there. Uh, actually, I think this would make a good place for a block of commercial. Uh, let's go to select. So I can deselect that corner like that. And then rezone that as commercial. I think that'll work quite nicely. Uh, and then same again down here. Let's turn this into commercial as well. Kind of like a Jimsville version of Times Square, I suppose. Where you've got that kind of convergence of uh, different routes at angles. I just kind of like the idea of this being kind of like a big retail corner just here. So uh, I need to dezone this as well. Oops. There we go. Uh, and let's go to fill and just rebuild this. So, let's put that little block back there. This is all springing up really quickly and really nicely. Where else can I add a little bit more commercial? Yeah, I like the idea of having commo uh, residential surrounding that park. Maybe along here. Give these uh, these guys who have been suffering from noise. Let's give them a break. Let's uh, put in commercial all the way along here. Like that. Because we're getting a lot of noise complaints because of the airport and the flight path. <laughs> let's make that commercial. But let's upgrade the road as well. Uh, so before that gets too built. So let's pause time for a second. Let's make it a six lane road. We haven't got any services built along there so it should be fine. Uh, 
and the same along there as well. And then I can bring that out as a six lane. I'm going to uh, move my plaza. I'll relocate it to there instead. Uh, take that out. Upgrade that. Uh, and then I'm going to actually draw in a connecting piece there, like so. Uh, and now I can go to zoning. I can continue to zone that the way I wanted it. Like that. Uh, and then I can repair that like that. There we go. I think that's going to work out really, really nicely. Already you can see that commercial is kind of flooding in. Oops. There we go. Yeah, I think that could work out really, really well. So, uh, I'm going to call it an episode here and when you come back we'll see how well this is all grown in and uh, how well these jobs are being filled up so thanks for watching i am jim bob and i will catch you back with another episode of jimsville and some more city skylines ps4 action very soon